Ocular melanoma is a uh, it is a condition that is only discovered via having a dilated eye exam. It is a tumor that forms in the eye or on the surface of the eye. Typically, um, there's five types. Four of them are intraocular, and one of them is extraocular, and that is conjunctival melanoma. That is the form that I have. I'm a patient as well as a patient advocate. The other types are considered uveal melanoma, and they're um, there is no symptoms, typically. The things that I do advise people is to watch for freckles, flashes, and floaters. You can have flashes and floaters and have multiple eye diseases or eye conditions, but um, very often it's something like that that will prompt you to go to an ophthalmologist and have uh, an eye exam. Dilated eye exams are never required. They are offered and they are additional, but uh, that is the only way that ocular melanoma can be identified and diagnosed. So um, always say yes to having a dilated eye exam is what I tell everybody, everybody, all the time. With the Cure Insight, what we do is we um, try to we support the patient where they are right now today in whatever form that they need. If they need a phone buddy, pro, um, a phone buddy when they're newly diagnosed and trying to navigate uh, what comes next. Now I've been diagnosed with this horrifying thing. Um, I've looked on on Doctor Google and you find nothing, little to no, and what you do find is um, dire, and there's no positive information out there. So what we like to do is we try to capture them newly diagnosed and inform them of some options that they may not hear about at their doctor's appointment. One of which being that upon um, initial treatment, you can have genetic testing done. And there's a very small window that um, you can have the genetic testing done to determine tumor type and tumor aggressiveness. Having that information will help you down the road if metastases occur because clinical trials will focus in on your t particular genetic makeup of your tumor type. If you don't have that information, then a lot of times you will not be eligible for a clinical trial. So um, it is to your advantage to have that information, but many people do choose to not get it. And that is a choice that they make, but not having the information so they can make that choice is a disservice to the patient. So that's one thing that we do. We also support them in our online support group. There's a Facebook group um, for all ocular melanoma patients as well as we have some other rare um, eye cancers that are also in the group. But patients on there communicate with each other and the, the newly diagnosed or the newly metastases, what comes next, what comes next. And so we just make sure that the patients are as informed as they can. But with a Cure Insight, what we like to do is when I say we support them in whatever, wherever they're at right now, if they need help making their um, copay, or making a choice between paying their power bill and making their copay, we will pay their power bill. We give them gas cards, we give them travel vouchers, we give them hotel stays, we give them whatever it is that they need right now so they can make sure to get the treatments they need, get to where they need to go. The few treatment centers around the country, um, patients have to travel great distances and once they have metastases, typically they're traveling monthly. So it's not just having your treatments. You still have um, your home that needs to be maintained. Your kids need to go to school. Your dog needs fed. You have a job that is, has to still be done and you still have to travel. There's gas, there's hotels, there's co-pays and co-insurances and all of that. So we just, whatever it is that they need, we make sure that they have the resources to get that. And if we can't do it, then we have a list of resources that we provide for them.